Hello, I have a story for you about an animal that lives in the coral reefs. What animal lives in the coral reefs? Can you guess? Did you guess that it was a parrotfish? Well, if you did, then you are right. My name is Christiane Woods and I love to tell stories that can help you make important decisions about how you're going to live in the world. So this animal is the parrotfish. And the parrotfish is a beautiful colored fish that you find swimming in the coral. It has an interesting beak in the front. And it has comes in different varieties with different colors and shapes. And this fish is amazing because it uses that sharp little beak to pick the outer layer of the coral as part of its uh, digestion. It takes that, um, that that little bit and eats it and then poops it out on the beach and that's what makes the beautiful coral beaches, coral sandy beaches of the Dominican Republic. So this parrotfish has an amazing life. It um, the, the male makes a beautiful display every day of attracting his harem, letting them know he's ready for reproduction. And his harem lines up to receive a shot of fertility. So the more uh, display he makes, the more females he attracts, the bigger the harem he has. However, the more that he does his display, the more he's vulnerable to other predators to come and find him and um, eat him. So the parrotfish walks this precarious line between doing his duty as a responsible male parrotfish and putting himself at great risk and vulnerability, personal vulnerability to be eaten by whatever predators come along and there's quite a few. So Mr. Parrotfish on a good day <clears throat> will uh, wake up in the morning and have his breakfast and then go out and do his dance and the first lady in his harem comes up to get fertilized and then on this particular day when he goes to do his second dance the predator, the lionfish, comes and tries to catch him. And our friend the parrotfish lively dances away and escapes the lionfish. So then after a while, you know, he comes back, his whole harem are waiting for him to, uh, to, to come along because it's very important for the parrotfish to reproduce. They have to get their eggs. The females need to have their eggs fertilized so that they can um, deposit them and the uh, population of the parrotfish will, will increase. At the moment, it's declining because sadly, a lot of uh, parrotfish are captured. So he begins his second dance and he's waiting for for his females, his harem to come and they come and, and he fertilizes quite a few of them. And then all of a sudden he sees a, a predator lurking and he decides, oh, well, maybe I'll just, I'll just hide for a little while. Like, uh, I can tell it's a shark. It's a little baby shark and I'm just going to hide. So he hides. And then um, it's about the middle of the afternoon now. He sets about for his third and probably final dance of the day. And he's out there, and and unbeknownst to him, there's a fisherman with a big net coming along. And he's doing his dance. He doesn't see the net, and before he knows it, boom, he's caught up into some fisherman's boat. And there's a law in the Dominican Republic that says there's no eating of parrotfish, but 
this fisherman doesn't pay attention to the law because he knows that he'll have people on the shore who will buy the parrotfish because they love to eat it. So he continues with his catch and keeps our dear parrotfish and pretty soon he's just gasping for air and then sadly slowly diminishes and dies on the boat. Well back in the water all his harem are in disarray. They say, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Our papa is gone. And the lead mama parrotfish says, never fear. I've got a solution. I will turn into the new papa. And so she does her twisting and contortions and, and uh, transforms into a male parrotfish. And in the morning... She has a whole new list of responsibilities and she carries on where the other parrotfish left off. And what can we do to help the parrotfish? Because far too many are being eaten, which means that there's not enough parrotfish cleaning the coral, making the sand and the beautiful Caribbean beaches. So what we can do is just be aware our awareness of what's happening in the beautiful oceans is part of helping the parrotfish. So when you wake up in the morning, think about that mama parrotfish who's had to transform and center your love and your energy and wish for her that her day will be successful and that she will survive to fertilize a whole bunch more parrotfish that they might bring babies into the world who will in turn take up their place and clean the coral and live healthy, productive